Hey, what's up everyone, Maurice here. Today, I'm gonna show you a couple of issues I ran into when I was creating my NBA dashboard. When you pull a table from the web, sometimes it's broken up. Power BI breaks them up into different parts, I guess depending on how the website is created. So I'm gonna show you how I was able to piece those tables together to form one complete uh, table. Um, the other issue is that you need to have a matching column to be able to do the uh, merge function. So let me just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. In this example, I'm gonna show how to grab the team stats on ESPN. Let's copy this link. We're going to do the web data source. Paste the link, hit OK. So you can see that Power BI has broken up the tables and they're not all in, uh, in one piece. So definitely several ways you can do this. I prefer to do is use the add table using examples. The first part I'm gonna get is the uh, team name and you have to do it in the order that you see it on the uh, on the website for Power BI to, to be able to pick up your examples and then fill in the rest for you. All right, so let's look at the standings and see which team we're gonna type in first. So first we're gonna type in the Utah Jazz and then on the next or on the second row, we're gonna type in the Phoenix Suns. And usually it takes two examples and then um, Power BI can figure out the rest. So first is Utah Jazz, the second row was the Phoenix Suns, and it's able to fill in the rest. In the second column, I want to add the actual team logos, and I made a video that shows how to grab the team logos. It's a quick video, but it goes a little bit more in detail than I'll do here today. But to grab the team logos, if you type in logos, so we're looking for the jazz, it might be easier to type in Utah. That's definitely easier. And this is the Utah Jazz team logo. It's a .png file. Select that. And like I said, usually it takes two examples for Power BI to figure out what you want. So the second one will select the Phoenix Suns. And here's the team logos for the Phoenix Suns. And Power BI was able to figure out the rest. Let's go ahead and hit OK. So table eight is the team names and team logo URLs. And the other table that we want, we can just select it up here, is table two, which has the actual stats. We'll hit transform data, that way it will open up the query editor and we can do the merge function in there. So we need to piece these two tables together to make one complete table and we're going to use the merge operation and the merge operation is just joining two existing tables together using a matching value or a matching column. So again, one of the requirements of merging is that you need to have a, a column that they both have in common. In this case, we don't have that. So we just have the team info here and then the stats. So in order to merge these two together, we have to create a common column. So what we need to do is add an index column so that we have that matching column so that we can piece these two queries together. So we'll choose index column from one. And you can see that it's created the index column here on team stats and then we'll create an index column on team names table. And now we have our matching column so that we can merge these two together. So now we're ready to merge these two tables together and we're gonna go to the home tab, select merge queries. Actually, we're gonna do uh, merge queries as new to create a new table. So this top selection is for your left side and this bottom selection is for your right side. So this is the left query 
and this is going to be your right query. So on the left side, we want the team names so that we can merge the stats on the right side. And there's different ways to join these. Um, if you're not sure which join type you want, I would select full outer. Um, this ensures you don't lose any data. So this is your safest bet. But if you wanna learn more about these joins, I'm gonna link a video to this channel called Kerbal. Her name is Ruth and she does a really good job of explaining the different joins. She has some nice examples showing the differences. But for this video, I'm just gonna choose full outer. That ensures that we don't lose any data. And I just noticed something here. What I forgot to do is you can see that our first row is actually our headers. And to fix that, we just go to transform. We're gonna do use first row as headers. That'll fix that, that looks good. And the other thing we're gonna need to do is move add index and drag it after the promoted headers step and that should correct the index. That looks good and we're going to now merge these two together. So hit merge queries. Merge queries as new to create a new table. And again, um, this is your left query and this is going to be your right query. So for the left side, we want the team names and then for the right side, we want the team stats. We're going to use full outer. We're going to select the index column on our left table and then the index column for our right table, indicate, uh, telling Power BI that this is our matching column. Hit OK. And now we have to expand the table out. I don't use original column name as prefix. Hit OK. That'll expand the stats side. That looks good. And then we'll just name this league stats. And of course, you always want to check your data types and they're all correct before you hit close and apply and do any uh, data visualizations. Hit close and apply. All right, so now we'll create a simple table. Um, I'm gonna grab the team logos, the team name. So in order to show the actual team logos as an image, you have to click the team logos URL field and select data category and choose image URL and that'll show the actual image. And we'll grab the points per game stats and the last 10, and that looks good. And that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you how to merge two web queries together without a matching column and showing how to use the index function to create a matching column. Hopefully this was helpful. I'm still getting used to talking to the camera. I think my first two videos, I didn't look at the camera at all. And I got some feedback from my friends saying that I should look at the camera. So I'm trying to look at the camera and honestly, it's super weird but um, I think I just need to get used to it and I just gotta keep making these videos. If you have any feedback or if you have any questions about Power BI, leave a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one.